Saint Seiya, The Lost Canvas, The Myth of Hades The Lost Canvas, Hepburn, Sainto Seiya Za Rosudo Kyambasu, Meo Shinwa. Also known as simply The Lost Canvas, is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Shiori Tishiragi. It is a spin-off based on the manga series Saint Seiya, which was created, written and illustrated by Japanese author Masami Kurumata. The Lost Canvas was published by Akita Shoden in the Weekly Shonen Champion magazine since August 24, 2006, concluding after 223 chapters on April 6, 2011, with 25 Tankoban released. Originally envisioned as a comic book whose purpose was to work simultaneously with Kurumata Saint Seiya, next to mention as a multi-angle interpretation of the shared elements of its storyline, which stems from an event mentioned in Kurumata's original Saint Seiya manga, the approach was quickly abandoned. As both works greatly diverged, Kurumata's next dimension stayed as the canonical telling of these events, and the lost canvas as a separate alternate retelling. The story takes place in the 18th century, and focuses on how an orphan known as Tenma becomes one of Athena's 88 warriors known as saints and finds himself in a war fighting against his best friend alone who is revealed to be the reincarnation of Athena's biggest enemy. The god Hades. In June 2009, TMS Entertainment started adapting the manga in original video animation format, producing 26 episodes, which followed the source material closely and occasionally expanded on it. Tishirugi also started releasing a spin-off series from Lost Canvas two months after the main serialization ended. Titled Saint Seiya, The Lost Canvas, the Myth of Hades, Anecdotes The Lost Canvas, Saint Oseya Za Rozudo Kyambasu, Meo Shinwa Gaiden. The spin-off focuses on short stories related to several saints before the events described in the main series. On April 23, 2012, it was announced in the Shonen Champion magazine that The Lost Canvas was to change from a weekly to a monthly publication the following June, and shifting to the newly created magazine. Akita's Besatsu Shonen Champion, supplementary to Shonen Champion, resuming publishing of the remaining anecdotes chapters in that date. In May 2013, TMS announced via its Twitter account that there were no plans for a third season for the Lost Canvas anime adaptation. Additionally, a special chapter of the manga was announced, to commemorate Kurumata's 40th anniversary as a manga artist. Saint Seiya, the Lost Canvas tells the story of the previous Holy War, taking place in the 18th century, 250 years before the original series, in the Saint Seiya universe. The story centers on the fight between Tenma, one of the 88 saints following Athena, and alone, the reincarnation of the god Hades. While the two were close childhood friends in Greece alongside Alone's sister, Sasha, the trio separated. Sasha was sent first to the sanctuary and then, a short time later, Tenma was sent to the sanctuary too. While Tenma had the cosmos, the saint's energy, awaken, Sasha was revealed to be the reincarnation of Athena. As years passes, everything that alone paints is destroyed, and he is convinced that death means salvation by the god Hypnus and his follower Pandora. Alone then gathers Hades' soldiers, the 108 specters to start a war against Athena. During the war, the saints and the specters face off. Tenma and Sasha have to deal with Alone who starts making the lost canvas, a vast painting of the earth, in the sky so that after he finishes it, the entire world will die. With Alone still not being fully controlled by the soul of Hades, Pandora, alongside Hypnus and his brother Thanatos lead the specters. However, as the two gods are sealed by the former saints Pope Sage and his twin brother Alter Hakare, Alone invites the few remaining saints to the demonic temples located in the lost canvas. Once the saints go through the temples, it is revealed that Alone is not possessed by Hades and is instead using the gods' powers for his own motives. Additionally, Tenma's parents, Mephistopheles Yoma and Alpertita appear as specters in the temples to force their son to transform his protective Pegasus bronze cloth into the most powerful armor, God Cloth. With the God Cloth, Tenma and his future reincarnations will be able to fight the gods and aid Athena in ending all wars. Following several battles in the temples, Tenma faces alone one on one with the former, managing to defeat the latter, causing the lost canvas destruction. Shortly afterwards, alone is possessed by Hades who aims to kill Athena. Hades is forced by the souls from the deceased saints to escape to the last demonic temple, and Tenma, Sasha, and Alone decide to follow him. The three manage to defeat Hades but they never return to Earth. The two surviving saints, Libra Doko and Ares Sheehan, then prepare for a possible future war against Hades. Libra Doko was assigned to permanently watch over the seal of Hades and 108 specters, 
while Ares Sheehan reconstructs and leads the Athena Sanctuary. Shiori Tashirigi met Masami Kurumata in a public event she once visited during the time she was a new manga author. In such event, Tashirigi sent Kurumata the first manga she made as well as a letter which made Kurumata ask her to write The Lost Canvas. Although she was happy with such proposal due to the fact Saint Seiya has always been her favorite manga, she found troubles writing it since she used to write shoujo and Lost Canvas was meant to be from the genre shonen. In order to do that, Tashirigi had to change various things from her style such as the narration and getting used to how to draw fights. Before the manga started, Kurumata sent Tashirigi a general version of the manga's story, but as long as the series continued, she started changing some parts after discussing with people from Akita Shoden. Additionally, the characters' designs and cloths were based on the second season from the Saint Seiya anime adaptation, but she combined them with her own style. When Tashirigi was purposed to start the lost canvas she was informed that the series would last a few volumes. However, when the tenth volume was published, she was surprised by the series' length which she found amazing. In the making of the series, emotions are what Tashirigi pays attention the most when she is drawing which makes remake several of the illustrations she makes. In both Saint Seiya and Lost Canvas, her favorite character is the Pegasus Saint, who has become the one she likes drawing the most. When creating Tenma, Lost Canvas's Pegasus Saint, Tashirigi checked if Tenma's words would be like the ones from Seiya, but she realized that both characters had different personalities. The Cancer, Pisces and Taurus Gold Saints were developed with Tashirigi's idea of what she could do with the ones from the original series. When she received comments that these three Lost Canvas Gold Saints are more interesting than the ones from the original series, she answered that she did not mean to give them any special treatment. The characters' names are created according to their origins and constellations such as Pisces Albafica whose Alba portion of his name was developed when Tashirigi was thinking of Rose's names. The Saint Seiya, the Lost Canvas chapters were published by Akita Shodan in the weekly Shonen Champion magazine since August 24, 2006. The first volume was published on December 12, 2006, and 25 Tankoban collecting the work were released. A short story comprised in 40 pages, or Gaiden, titled Saint Seiya, The Lost Canvas, Meo Shinwa Yuzuriha Gaiden, Chizumi no Mon The Lost Canvas Yuzuriha Gaiden Chizumi no Mon, was published on October 16. 2009, in the issues 11 and 12 of Akita Shoden's Princess Gold Comics magazine, which is oriented towards a female majority demographic. The story is set in the same continuity of Lost Canvas and further explores the past and motivations of the character Yuzuraha, and her younger brother Takusa, as well as her perspective of the events surrounding the resurrection of Hades. This episode has yet to be included in a Tankoban compilation. In the final chapter The Lost Canvas, a new series of short stories focusing on the Gold Saints was announced. Simply titled Saint Seiya, The Lost Canvas, Anecdotes The Lost Canvas, the first chapter was published on May 19, 2011. An original video animation series premiered in Japan on June 24, 2009. The production is by TMS Entertainment while Osamu Nabashima is the director and Yoshiyuki Suga the writer. The first season comprises 13 OVAs, each 30 minutes in length. All the OVA episodes were released on DVD and Blu-ray format by VAP. Season 1 ended on April 21, 2010, with the release of the 11th, 12th and 13th episodes. The second season premiered on February 23, 2011, adding 13 more OVAs to the series. Season 2 ended on July 20, 2011, with the release of OVAs 24, 25, and 26. In January 2011, Crunchyroll announced they would stream the series on the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, and Ireland. The original design was unveiled at the Tokyo International Anime Fair 2009. Discotech Media licensed the OVA series for a DVD release in North America and set a preliminary release date for November 24, 2015 but the release was delayed to December 8, 2015. In August 2018, it was revealed that VSI Los Angeles had been commissioned by Netflix to make an English dub for the series. Currently, TMS confirmed it has no plans for resuming production of the OVA series, leaving a large portion of the original manga not adapted to animation. The Lost Canvas has spawned a few merchandise items. Two CDs have been released, one with the opening and ending theme songs called Realm of Athena and Hana no Kusari respectively. The other CD contains the original soundtrack for the first season of the anime adaptation, released on September 25, 2009. Two characters from the series, Pegasus Tenma and Benu Kagaho, have been released as part of Bandai's Saint Seiya, 
Myth Cloth Figure Series. Other merchandise include a microfiber towel, a pocket mirror and two puzzles. A CD drama about one of Athena's saints, Pisces Albafica has been released. The CD is currently only available to people that have purchased the first pressings of all six DVD or Blu-ray volumes of the Saint Seiya, a lost canvas animation. Only people in Japan are eligible to be sent the CD. An art book named Saint Seiya, The Lost Canvas, The Myth of Hades Illustrations The Lost Canvas, Saint Oseya Za Rozudo Kyambasu, Meo Shinwagashu, was released on March 18, 2016, to coincide with the release of the final chapter of The Lost Canvas, Anecdote Serialization and the 10th Anniversary of The Lost Canvas series. During its first week, the volume 13 from the manga sold 25,238 copies in Japan. All the guide in volumes of Lost Canvas did not enter the top 30 best-selling manga in Japan. During its first week, the Lost Canvas Guide in 2 sold 21,000 copies in Japan and stood on the 30th place of most sold manga in December 2011. During its first week, the Lost Canvas Guide in 8 sold 24,000 copies in Japan and stood on the 44th place of most sold manga in August 2013. During its first week, the Lost Canvas Guide in 9 sold 19,100 copies in Japan and stood on the 48th place of most sold manga in December 2013. During its first week, the Lost Canvas Guide in 10 sold 22,000 copies in Japan and stood on the 47th place of most sold manga in June 2014. According to a booklet that came along with the 5th Anecdotes volume, the 25 volumes of the Lost Canvas has sold about 6. 7 million copies only in Japan. The anime series has received generally positive reviews by anime critics. It has been praised for it being accessible to viewers who have no knowledge of the original Saint Seiya despite being a prequel, and at the same time it allows fans from the original to view events from a different point of view. While the use of characters was noted to be common within Japanese series in general, the delivery from various of them such as Tenma's and Alone's relationship was noted to be enjoyable. The animation was noted for standing out beautifully mostly in fights. Although the attacks performed by the character was found unintentionally funny by UK Anime Network as a result of its names, the notable display of violence made the reviewer wonder whether the show should be aimed towards a young audience. In the interview with Nelson Akira Sato, president of the audiovisual distributor Sato Company, official distributor of The Lost Canvas in Brazil, confirmed that the original author, Masami Kurumata did not renew the rights with TMS Entertainment to continue with the animated adaptation of the manga. Thanks for watching.